John McAfee found dead today in a prison cell in Spain. The founder of the antivirus software that bears his name had just been ordered extradited to the United States on tax evasion charges. He faced up to 30 years in prison if convicted. He was 75, and a wild ride of a life it was. Joining me now from Memphis, Tennessee, is John McAfee, cybersecurity expert, founder and developer of the famed McAfee antivirus software, and now also possible 2016 libertarian presidential candidate. McAfee made his first fortune in the 80s. He was a young and talented computer programmer who worked out a way to tackle the world's first computer virus. Please, governments become corrupt always. Power inevitably corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. Please, this is the truth of life since the beginning of the human race. And so our government, do you, do you, can you say our government is not powerful? If it is powerful, there is corruption somewhere in it. A suspected person is not a guilty person. Until you are proven guilty, you have all the rights that everybody else has. This is America. We have a constitution. I am sorry. And I am not a terrorist. And neither are you to my knowledge. And just because there are terrorists, should you give up your right to privacy? Absolutely not. Do you realize what madness that would bring? What, what chaos? Our society would come unglued. We can't do that. Here's the truth of, 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 of hacking and, and security. No matter how secure you want to make the system, someone will always find a way to break in. Can you imagine what would happen if everyone knew everything about everybody else? We're very judgmental people. We are imperfect creatures. We, we have to have privacy in order to keep the glue of society together. Situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be down with the hood team. Too much television watching got me chasing dreams. I'm an educated fool with money on my mind. Got my tin in my hand and a gleam in my eye. I'm a loped out gangster, set tripping banker. And my homies is down, so don't arouse my anger. Fool, death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away. I'm living life do a die. What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24? The way things are going, I don't know. Can you imagine, sir, what the Chinese can do to us? They have the capability now to completely disrupt our electrical power supply permanently. And what does that mean? No communications, uh, no food delivery, 
uh, no production of, of all of our necessities. A, a report to Congress last year said that 90% of the American population would perish in a cyber war with China. Well, who created ISIS, Larry? Isn't this a fundamental question? I mean, we keep bombing people. If, if you were living in the Middle East, and a bomb destroyed your neighbors next door and your friends and killed your brother and your father and possibly your mother. And you could do nothing. You were, you were completely helpless against these invisible things that were being controlled by people halfway around the world. You would be angry. You would be frustrated. You would want to strike out. And so they do. Or we just strike back at them. We created terrorism, Larry, by interfering in the affairs of nations that we had absolutely no business interfering in. And we did it for purely economic reasons. We have to take at least a small part of that responsibility. We do, sir.